While I was at Mint and Craft this weekend, I was searching through the corner of the store where all of the drinks were. Observing an Izzy bottle, the bold white font automatically draws our eyes' attention. The packaging designer took advantage of the vibrant drink color to add high contrast between the bottle and the crisp lettering, and this makes the product more enticing to consumers. In addition, the graphic of the fruit was designed with simplistic lines, enabling customers to automatically recognize that it's a fruit and that the drink must be fruit flavored. The choice to use vibrant colors for the graphic of what appears to be a pomegranate raises customer spirits and can re relate back to the psychology behind color appeal. In addition, the playful bold lettering leads people to believe that this drink has bold flavors. An example of ineffective type font would be this product by the brand Ocean Spray. I was with my mom at Target and we were walking down the fruit juice aisle. We came across this new cold brew drink. First off, you typically wouldn't find cold brew products in the juice aisle. In addition, I was discussing with my mom that her generation of baby boomers typically recognizes Ocean Spray as only a juice brand. Looking at the labeling of the product, there's a lot of information on the front of the bottle, and who would really want to read that? The type that says brew immediately draws our eyes to the product, yet the first thing a consumer reads below the bold type is number one, that this product contains fresh fruit, so we still think that it's a fruit drink, and then secondly, it says that it contains coffee. There's too much going on in the label, bright background, vibrant image of fruit, which still makes, makes consumers think it's a fruit juice, even though the title of the drink is brew, and then too much information on the front of the package.